Hi everyone! Welcome back to Sherry Proof. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you guys are doing well and that you know you are really enjoying this time of year. I know for a lot of people it's a really special time of year and while we may not be able to celebrate or um, do things the way we would like to with our families and so on, um, I hope that you are definitely making the best use of the life, the health, the breath, the strength that we do have, right? So... Uh, the basket is here again and you know that today's video is going to be part two of my most used skincare in 2020 so like i said there are various categories that we're going through i'm hoping that this is going to be a three-part series i'm really hoping that it is um because there are a lot of things that i need to talk about and i want to share with you but like i said in my last video and i'll definitely link it down below if you have not seen it yet um is that these videos are not going to be in-depth reviews i'm going to run through them really really quickly so that you have an idea of what i have been using but what i've been using the most the most <laughs> um and some of these i may have reviewed before shown in favorites you know post and so on and some of them are coming up for more in-depth reviews you could definitely stay tuned for that so the last time we covered um, our first cleanse, which is your oil cleanse, whether it's a cleansing oil, cleansing balm. We covered my morning cleansers. We covered, what else did we cover? We covered the toners that I use. Um, we covered the vitamin C serums that I most use and also my most used spot treatment. So definitely check out that video. I did include links at the bottom of that video for all the different products that I use. And I will also do the same for today's video. So let's get started. <laughs> my dear people i have so much fun doing these types of videos because honestly i love sharing this this type of you know information with you guys i hope you all will stay with me until the end let's see how quickly we can do it right so number five and i have my list in front of me so that i could keep track right um would be my nighttime cleansers now like i mentioned in the last video it's not that the morning cleansers i can't use at night in fact from those that i mentioned the tm for example i will actually grab to use at nighttime um and some of the others but these two that i will show you today are those that i really really reach for at nighttime and i don't really use these in the morning again not that you can't use these in the morning but it's just what I have been doing, right? So the first one is this, and this is by Mediheal, and this is their tea tree care cleansing foam. And like the name says, this does have tea tree oil and tea tree extract in there. And I don't know how many of you remember in my 2019 skincare discoveries, I showed you guys the Mediheal tea tree um, sheet masks. And I am not a person that gravitates too much to sheet masks, but that was one that I really loved. It so happened that Soko Glam named it um, their sheet mask of the year. I was on to something <laughs> right and um so the clean in fact it was because of that i decided to pick up the cleanser and i really love this this is coming and of course you all know that i'm acne prone so this is actually very very gentle on the skin like i mentioned i don't really reach for cleansers that may advertise like acne ingredients because in the past they've tend to be very very dry but not these at all this is a really nice one but it really really deep cleans the skin so especially when you're coming down to that time of the month where i know i'm going to be more prone to breakouts because my period is near or something i definitely reach for this even more then um and the second one is this and this is one that i never showed you guys and this is by a brand called dr althea prolab and this is the amino acid gentle bubble cleanser now this one is a little bit special and i have been reading a lot about this brand again this is one of the brands that i've been looking at i want to test a couple more products from them so i decided to try the cleanser and it was really strange because like i told you guys I am a more gel cleanser type of girl. Oh, and as I said that, as I'm mentioning that, the Medi Heal has a very, very interesting um, texture. It comes out kind of like a creamy gel. And of course, it, it operates like a gel cleanser. Like when you wet it, you sort of feel it like, I don't know, expanding, opening up some very, very strange way. But anyway, back to the Dr. Althea. So this one, um, this one dispenses um, as a foam similar to the I Woke Up Like This cleanser. However, this one really deep cleans and it does it in the most gentle way. You can, I can actually feel the difference between the I woke up like this and this one. And this one contains 17 amino acids, which is really good for strengthening your barrier. And the mist, not the mist, the foam is actually low pH. 
so um, it's really good as well for creating or helping to maintain um, a good skin barrier so that the good bacteria as well could multiply on your skin and you don't give room for the bad ones right so those are the two cleansers at night and those would be my water-based cleansers that I will go in with after I all I use my cleansing balms that I did tell you guys about in the first video <laughs> so number six is the essence and mist category my most used essences and mists so i have zero mists here so we put in that out but i have a ton of essences and you'll be like these are the most used you mean you have others yes i do but these were the ones that i found myself grabbing for the most right so i'm um, actually let me just get it out of the way i'll just include a photo because i finished mine and that's the duft and duft the salmon hydro the hydro active essence i think that's the name of it yeah and i did do an entire review on that line i absolutely loved that product i do have another one um that i have opened and i just forgot to take it up <laughs> and bring it here with me but i definitely i finished it i got lots of use of that i love that one if you are uh, you know in your 30s in your 40s looking um for products or ingredients to help with the whole anti-aging you know the firmness the elasticity of the skin i highly recommend that you check out that video and check out that line of products and if you have a mom or and that you want to gift them that entire line is a really good gift idea so i um, moving on from that because i did talk about that one the next one that i really really loved um and used a lot was the am um, from fig boost and essence i also mentioned this in a favorites video a while back i'll also link it down below so i give you guys some uh, a little bit more in-depth info on it and it has like more than 60 percent fig extract but this has no fragrance no alcohol it's full of humectants and like i was saying in that video some people might either love this or they may hate it and since that video i am telling you guys that i fell in love with this product even more like i don't know somehow it just keeps growing on me like more and more and more and more i didn't realize like you know sometimes you'll start off using something and when you realize you really enjoy it or you love it and then you kind of tape off in terms of you're like yeah it's good and whatever but you know it probably doesn't excite you as much not this like every single time i get that excitement i love how my skin just plumps with it the the ingredients that they use the panthenol all that it really works nice lots of humectants and again the key thing for me or one of the little tiny spicy ingredients is there is the bt and salicylate which is a more gentle version of salicylic acid and of course i like that because it's going to support my efforts to prevent and or treat my acne so that one was one that that was one <laughs> that i really really loved and i'm talking really fast because i know i have a lot of things to show you guys this however my dear people the apple you maracaso side ampule cheese and ages okay so this one is actually done i should actually be keeping this for empties video but lord have mercy you all know that i love the skin 1000 for centella ampule so this product is essentially centella asiatica extract but there is a little bit of focus on maracasocide and maracasocide is one of those components of centella um that you will see you will actually see there are three um components that are usually advertised or talked about i can't pronounce all of them i could probably put it on its screen for you but this one has maracasocide and one of the things about maracasocide is that it helps to prevent the pigmentation that may come with acne or breakouts and also the hypertrophic scarring so that's like those kind of raised scars and so on it helps to minimize that so it doesn't mean that if i'm having acne or breakouts that i'm not going to get a dark spot i'm very prone to pigmentation this is actually going to help it not be as bad as it was and i definitely saw that but besides that of course i'm getting all the calming anti-inflammatory benefits and so on from centella and what i loved what one of the one of the other reasons i fell in love with this i wonder if i could get any you're not going to really be able to see it this suspense is kind of like a gel but especially if you are oily a combination and you want to be able to layer your products especially in the morning without feeling like you've done too much or that it's too heavy this will hydrate the skin but it absorbs like nothing like so fast into the skin um and you don't feel it you don't feel it at all it layers beautifully with other skincare products and under makeup as well i have really loved this and this is a small bottle and i've started actually the bigger bottle because they have two sizes yay <laughs> absolutely absolutely love that 
the next essence is this one and i i showed you guys this in a post recently i think um this is a first treatment essence and this is by skin ink right this is essentially a galactomyces based essence and it's 90 percent galactomyces i talked a little bit about galactomyces in my cosley baja video but again it's one of those ingredients that is being used in a lot of anti-aging products simply because of the effects that they noticed and i'm not going to go through the whole backstory but literally it kind of delayed people's aging the use of it but it's also brightening um it, it's full of antioxidants and because the extracts are fermented it means that it actually allows the ingredients to also penetrate and it allows the potency of the ingredients actually to come out a lot more this one while it was one of my most used and it's here it's because i've really been using this product and i'm i'm in between thoughts now if i take this out of my routine for a week or two i will actually see the difference and then i'll go back to it but i have a feeling there might be some better galactomyces based essences out there in terms of first treatment essences i do have two of them right now that i have lined up to try after this so i think after i go through those bottles sometime in 2021 i'll be able to give you guys a review for what i think is probably best galactomyces based essence anybody's interested in that or perhaps you've tried them because all of these are supposed to be like dupes or very very similar to the skitu the skitu essence um misha also has one that's really really popular i use that misha i use a couple of bottles of that but somehow that just doesn't do it for me just don't give me the you know the oomph i actually like this one more than the misha but i want to try the other two that i have and then i'll give you guys my thoughts then we have this one and this is by that same brand of that cleanser the tm snail and azaline water essence and in terms of snail mucin based essences that i reach for the most in 2020 to put on my skin it's this i was really 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 impressed with this line again i'll do a in-depth review but this one the consistency is not as thick as the cosarex and the cos de baja it is 87 percent based snail mucin but the thing in this one that makes it different from those it is also has azaline which is a chamomile extract and they're a lot of benefits of, um you know with regards to that this one excellent for all skin types including sensitive but we will get to that when we get to that review video <laughs> and the last in my most used essences would be this the cosarex advanced snail mute 96 power mucin you all hear what i said let me repeat that the cosarex advanced snail 96 mucin power essence <laughs> that's plenty for a product name but yeah this is most used but not for my skin i'm mentioning it here only because i grabbed a grab for it for my hair I've, I've gone through i think maybe one and a half bottles of this during the year and it was used mainly on my hair mainly on my hair it's fabulous for that okay great so number seven in most use is the category of exfoliants and i'm actually going to skip this one and i'll tell you guys why because of course you would have seen that i mentioned the exfoliating toners that i use when it comes to physical exfoliants the one that i have recommended for years is the skin food black sugar scrub you all know i love that and what i feel about that you also know how i feel in general about physical exfoliants and later on in this year i actually started to experiment with peeling gels so i have some more thoughts on that and i'm going to hold that back but the other reason why i'm not going to talk any you know say anything really in this category for now is because a lot of my exfoliation has been with masks i have been using masks or peels in my rotation that have acids so i've been getting my chemical exfoliation a lot from masks and i will also be skipping that category the category of masks in terms of most use because for me 2020 was a year of masks like there are a ton of masks that i fell in love with excellent products and i really want to do a dedicated video on that to show you guys like which ones i've been using how i've been rotating masks why i mask almost every night but yes we will get to that so category number nine is going to be my daytime moisturizers and i have a couple to share with you number one i'm not going to talk about this this was a 2019 skincare discovery this is the iunic centella calming gel cream i remember after i talked about this and i saw that um skincare by hiram he as well was talking about that you know he found that moisturizer and he absolutely loved it so yeah i think i'm in good company when it comes to that i i have talked a lot about that you could go check the 2019 videos on that the other one that i actually finished because i do have my bottle here is the etude house sunjong 
um emulsion that one is an excellent moisturizer if you're combination oily sensitive even acne prone really good one lightweight for the day that has some centella um some niacinamide and so on really really nice formulation but the ones i'm gonna show you here are the ones that i did not talk about okay let us pause for a moment because this might be the cheapest item in this video but lord have mercy this you all see how tiny this thing looking? Don't judge things by the size of the package at all. Don't judge it. <laughs> so you all know my thoughts already on the Braley Vitamin C Serum. So Braley also has this Vitamin C 20% Cream that I actually started using from about June in my skincare routine as my daytime moisturizer. And this thing surprised me because first of all, it was a cream and I thought to myself, okay, I'm testing this just to make sure it doesn't break me out, how it feels, how it works, whatever, to be able to advise customers, clients, etc. Then I realized, oh my God, I love this. I love this even on my oily acne prone skin. I loved how it made my skin look. I love how it wore during the day. It didn't make me extra greasy. And this is what the texture looks like. In fact, I also need to do a complete review on Braley as well. But it is like literally like a cream, but it's super, super super lightweight and i just oh god it also smells really really good i just love how that you know blends into the skin i also love the smell i'm not gonna lie i love that smell putting it on in the morning i really love it but what's special about this now this is a shea butter based cream um moisturizer and yeah i'm saying cream because generally for oily skin in the daytime we will you know gravitate towards gels this is a cream but watch that watch that it look look at how it went into my skin like you can't see anything at all it works beautifully on my oily skin but yeah it also has licorice root extract which is a brightening um ingredient as well and it does have the same um form of vitamin c that the serum has which is the 3o ethylascorbic acid not in the amounts as the serum this will support the work of everything else but it's really another nice way to layer some vitamin c into your daytime routine i have been absolutely loving this and this one is really really budget friendly and really good and while the jar looks really small a little bit of this goes a long way i just use a tiny bit and i get enough to cover my entire face and the last daytime moisturizer i want to share with you guys because i didn't talk about this either is um this product and it's by a brand called nella this is their white snow ceramide prep um watery cream let me see if i can show you guys the texture of this like do i have any on the so i don't know no yes this one is more so like a gel but what's special about this one is that i had discovered a moisturizer called sweet skin b absolutely beautiful moisturizer but ceramides really lightweight lovely gel consistency worked beautifully on acne prone skin oily skin combo skin i had so many of you like we actually purchased that thing until it was it, we could no longer find it because unfortunately product was discontinued i have no idea i have heard no influencers talk about it so i don't know if they did like poor marketing or what i don't or i don't know if i just was too late on the scene to know anything about it fabulous product so i have been hunting since then to find something that might be close to it and this is one of the things that I found to be the closest. So look at how that goes on to the skin. This will absorb completely into the skin. It leaves the most beautiful natural glow. But it feels like nothing. I don't know if you, you, you could see anything there. Um, it actually will eventually like in a couple of minutes just settle down and be completely matte on the skin. And this has niacinamide. It has ceramides. It's an absolutely beautiful formulation. So it's protecting your skin. It's hydrating your skin. It's helping to manage water sebum balance. Anybody, in fact, from normal to oily can use this. Even dry skin, depending on what they layer under it. Because it is hydrating. Like you could feel that hydration, you know, really, really sinking in. And it's been one that I've been really, really enjoying. This one is not as, as affordable as the Braley. But definitely one to consider if you're probably in the market for that type of cream and category number 10 because now it is this video is way too long we are talking about nighttime moisturizers so i just have one um, let's see how quickly we can do this right so this is my jar number three of this product this is bay for me like i said check that video i absolutely love this cream love 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 this cream i love it so much like and I think only people who have tried it really understands my love because people who've tried it, they come back and be like, oh my gosh, Sherry, this product is excellent. I absolutely love it. My skin looks 
so good the next morning every single time and when i did the review of that i actually mentioned to you all that beside that there was only one other mo nighttime moisturizer that i was using and i didn't want to disclose it yet and of course it's the third item in the tm line and it's the tm snail and azaline sleeping mask and again this thing whew, listen if you want plump radiant bouncy looking like juicy juicy skin this sleeping mask is life like a sleeping mask is essentially like a really hyped up mo nighttime moisturizer okay so some people like they see sleeping mask they're thinking oh my god i'm gonna put this thing on this thing gonna be probably getting all over my pillow i have to wash what do you do no 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 sleeping mask will literally rub into your skin like a moisturizer it's really like really extra um you can use it with a moisturizer you could use it in place of a moisturizer there's so many ways and they're very very versatile this one is very very lightweight like and full of snail mucin and again like i don't know if you could kind of see that uh I, that gooeyness is is beautiful to my eyesight i'm almost down to the end of this jar and again you're just gonna have to take my word for it right now that i absolutely love that it's been amazing and i've literally been rotating so i actually tend to use one of these on my retinol night and the other on my salicylic night it really doesn't matter but that's literally how it's been going all year through um except that there was one other cream that i want to mention because i did realize like when i was looking at my rotator with all my skincare i was like but I have been actually reaching for this as well. And this is the Cosde Baja Peptide Cream. This is the new one, the tube, and this is the reformulated version. And this one is way more nourishing. Like the previous version with the pump was not as emollient. So I could have gotten away with that one in the daytime. This one is definitely a nighttime cream and cream for me if you are if you are dry skin though you would love this in the daytime as well it's really really nourishing but they have some interesting peptides in here and i just wanted to mention very very quickly the metrixil 3000 um which has in some studies been shown to be as almost as effective as retinol in terms of um preventing wrinkles that is like a big claim eh? a big claim <laughs> um yeah almost as effective as retinol um but without the irritating side effects so that might be something some of you may want to consider if you're a little bit afraid of retinol and the other thing that this has is a geraline and a geraline for those of you who don't know is considered to be like the skincare or the cosmetic botox kind of thing so obviously it's not going to be as strong as botox but there are people who have seen like when they apply a geraline especially in the areas where they have marks they will see a temporary effect yeah in the skin by using that and this product has both so you can imagine if you're using something like this as an eye cream every night what difference is going to make i actually love it because when i feel like i need a little bit extra nourishment i will actually put that one on and guys whoo <laughs> that was a day work a night work whatever you want to call it but yes so that was today's 2020 most used x i love to hear again in the comments below what were your most used day creams your night cream summary about your essences just comment i just love to hear what you guys are using and let's share information and so on and i'll see you guys in the next video it's going to be another part bye